the Equality Act is actually going to be voted on in the House this week, right? I think Thursday? Yeah. There will yep, be sorry. no hearings at all. Is, why no hearings? Well, the bill is exactly the same bill um, as passed two years ago by a wide margin. Um, you know, uh, not uh, bipartisanly. Um, Do you think one one of the innovations in the act is the repeal of the Religious Freedom Restoration Act of 1993 with respect to lesbians, gay people, and transgender? And, and so, no religious organization really has uh, a chance under this law, and that is by far the biggest worry about uh, from people like Mitt Romney who might otherwise support it. Uh, that it's that in the balance between religious freedom and sexual orientation, gender identity rights, um, the latter always wins. Shouldn't there be some sort of uh, moderation yeah, there? There are. There, there's lots of um, concessions to that. So any law you pass in the United States just has religious exemptions built into it because our Constitution does. Um, and, and a lot of other things. What the Equality Act does around RIFRA, for instance, is two things. First of all, we would have, we as um, people who care about sexual orientation, gender identity, or LGBTQ people, I was trying to avoid using Thank that you. because it upsets you. I appreciate you. it. But LGBTQ folks would have the same relationship to um, RIFRA as, or same to religious freedom as um, um, the other already protected classes in the world, um, sex, race, nationality, color, religion, disability. Um, that's what we were going for. You're saying that religious organizations can't dis discriminate on the basis of religion? Wait, religious? No, no. What they cannot do and what, what RIFR was not meant for was to um, uh, was to beat down civil rights and to get around civil rights. That's not what it was for. No, it was trying to balance. There are, there are groups in society that have different needs, and, and, and society takes a balance between them and tries to find a balance between them. And the point about sexual orientation, let's say, uh, is that every single major world religion, whether we like it or not, and I don't like it, but it's true, Judaism, Orthodox Christianity, Islam, uh, takes the prohibition on homosexual behavior as anathema. And this is not a new or trivial teaching. It's a pretty profound teaching that crosses all faiths and is different than race, different than other characteristics of nationality. It is, uh, and it seems to me that some balance can be brought. And this removes any objection to these things if it is made on religious grounds? Well, not, not, not exactly. This does not, nothing in the Equality Act says the Catholic Church has to have gay priests. No, but it does. Well, that would be, uh, that, you know, that would be superfluous. But no, I mean, uh, let's say a Catholic agency uh, for adoption does not accept same-sex couples for adoption. Uh, they would no longer be able to uh, have that if they took any public funds at all, they That's wouldn't be the able to make that they difference. Took any so you're public telling, funds. The, but you're telling all these organizations that they they're going to be they're going to they're going to lose public funds if they adhere to their own religious. They will ideas. no longer be able to take my tax money to discriminate against me. That's correct. 